When I was a boy of 15, I had a friend whose society was very dear to me because I was forbidden by my mother to partake of it. He was a gay and impudent and satirical and delightful young black man, a slave. And daily, he would preach sermons from the top of his master's woodpile with me for the sole audience. I would listen to his sermons through an open window of a back lumber room of the house. One of his texts was this. You tell me where a man gets his corn pone, and I'll tell you what his pinions is. <laughs> this black philosopher's idea was that a man is not independent that he cannot afford to have views that would interfere with his bread and butter. That if he would prosper, he must train with the majority. And in matters of great moments, such as religion and politics, well, he must have views that coincide with the bulk of his neighbors. Otherwise, he will suffer damage in his social reputation and his business prosperity. He must confine himself to corn pone opinions, at least on the circuit. My young friend was right in the main, but I believe that he did not go far enough. Broadly speaking, there are none but corn pone opinions. And corn pone stands for self-approval. Self-approval is acquired primarily from the approval of other people. And so the result is conformity. I suspect that in more cases than we should care to admit, we have two sets of opinions, one private, one public, one secret and sincere, and the other corn pone. <laughs>